Hello, my friends. It's me again, your favorite dentuary. <laughs> made it back from the mountains uh, last night. We actually made it up there and back in one day. Um, what was amazing was that on our way up through Glenwood Canyon, um, it's a really windy, twisty, nasty road. Well, it's not nasty. It's an interstate, but it's still, you know, you got some pretty hairy curves on that road. Um, on our way up, we were in a blizzard, literally. I could not see the white lines on the road. Um, I couldn't see the road in front of me. I could see little specks of taillights. So I literally just would aim the truck towards the where I knew the white line was, and I would hear the tire go on those rumble strips they got over there. And then I would ease back a little bit, and then I'd go back again until the tire went, and then I'd come back a little bit. That's how I determined where the white line was and how close I was to the edge of the road so that I knew I was staying in my lane. We passed five accidents. Two of them were rollovers in the medium that had flipped cars had gone off the road, slid over, flipped. Uh, we passed five of them, and we got through the worst part of it. And what's funny is that right after we got through it, they closed the interstate right behind us if we would have left 10 minutes later than we did we would have been stuck out there on the interstate for hours waiting for the storm to clear and so we got lucky made it all the way up on a mountain you saw the video it's the last video the other video the one right below this one if you're looking at it on the list <laughs> uh, if you're watching this video you can't see it yet because it's the it was the last video I did. Anyway, I want to thank everybody that enjoyed that video, that uh, ride up on the mountain. A lot of people have asked why I didn't speak during the video. And, you know, I thought it would be a nice reprieve from hearing my voice. Just listen to some music and look at the scenery and just enjoy the snow. So, you know, I don't have to talk in every video. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to drive. <laughs> or ride my bike, you know. Um, but anyway... Um, it was a very uh, trying experience for me um, as far as I didn't get any sleep the night before. I was extremely tired. I was extremely cautious, of course. Um, but getting up at 3.30 in the morning and putting my dentures in and not being able to take them out until midnight the next night was very trying for me. Um, I'm not used to wearing my dentures that long. I had a terrible headache when I got home. Um, I took my dentures out. I threw them in the, in the denture bath. Um, you know, I sucked on some ice to kind of cool my mouth because my mouth did feel kind of like it was on fire after that long wearing my dentures. Uh, that was almost 24 hours, so it had been 24, 23, 22, 21 hours, you know. And it, it was, uh, it was uh, really a test of uh, endurance for me. I don't like wearing them that long. And honestly, when I got up this morning... Um, put my dentures in at 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock I think it was when I got up um, my gums were a little sore so I, I honestly I don't know how people can wear their dentures 24 hours a day I guess it's you get used to the soreness and eventually it goes away um, but I can also see again why doctors recommend you take your dentures out and let your gums get some air and puff back up where they're supposed to um, I would imagine it would it would hurt quite a bit you know, the first week or two of wearing your dentures 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, I wouldn't do it. No way in hell. I like tasting hot coffee on my gums, and I love cold ice cream on my gums. There's no way I could wear my dentures 24 hours a day. They just can't do it. Um, anyway, it was a very enjoyable day yesterday. I'm glad I didn't have to spend the night up there. It's a very beautiful place, but it is cold, and the wind never stops blowing. Um, you're up on top of the mountain. You're looking down on Denver from 9,000 feet up. So you're looking down on Denver at about eh, 3,800 feet below you, which is a long way down. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's it's a beautiful ranch. Uh, yeah, the property's beautiful. You saw all the snow and the little, the little roads we had to drive on and stuff. It was great. Um, but, yeah, I am uh, never going to wear my dentures that long again. <laughs> never going to wear them for 21 hours again if I can possibly avoid it uh, the only way I would do that is if I was in jail and I don't plan on going there <laughs>
So anyway, I hope everybody has a great night. Keep smiling, keep trying, and please, never give up.